Hey. Yeah, I'm not doing much. I'm just uh, hanging around. It is January, the sun is shining. It's been so beautiful lately. So today I'll keep going on my painting that I started before Christmas and I'll be talking a little bit through it and uh, hope you enjoy. Yeah, I have to dust off my canvas because it's been laying around for like almost a month. This is really scary. Huh. Okay, let's just do it. Uh, uh, ruined. Just kidding. Ruined. <laughs> okay, this so one kind of goes up to like here. Oh boy. Oh no. This video is a part of my journey through grief. It was a very good activity to do while grieving. Being able to paint my brother, I felt even more connected to him, and it brought me so much peace. During this whole process, I was thinking about him the whole time, and it's given me a lot of time just to reflect and to feel my emotions. This past holiday season was extremely difficult for me and my family. Already, Losing a loved one and having to go through the holiday season is incredibly difficult and add on top of that restrictions put in place because of the pandemic that we can't visit our families and get together and see each other and, and support each other. It's been extremely difficult and I was not ready for the feelings that I felt. I was going into it uh, with an open mind and excited for Christmas but pretty soon it was just it hit me hard and I was not I was not ready for it so it's extremely difficult and one piece of advice I could give is to just really feel the emotions that you're feeling and that you have to just go through it you can't go over it you can't go under it you have to go through it and that's a hard thing to accept because a lot of times I just want to push away those feelings but that is not healthy. So I wasn't feeling super confident about how I was gonna draw my brother. So I put on my projector and I'm just gonna trace the outline of his body. I was also just having a laugh here because I was just thinking to myself, oh my gosh, bro, I'm painting your butt right now. <laughs> I don't know, it just made me laugh and think of my brother. This part was super crucial because I had to get his curls shaded right, formed right. It just had to be perfect. I could not mess up his curls.
and it's pretty incredible because in the original picture there's a little dragonfly right by his life jacket, so I added that in. And the funnest part was adding the shine from the sun. I love it. I can't even get over it. I'm still in shock. This is amazing. I'm so proud of myself. I don't know how I did that. Um, I don't know what I was so afraid of. I was so afraid to paint on a big canvas and I did it. People usually ask me how long it takes me to paint and I usually don't count my hours. I have the good intention to do it and I just forget. Um, so this time I forgot again but I went back and like thought how long it took me. It took me about two afternoons, so approximately nine hours, I would say. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next time. Peace.